Everything was going terrific until Ali North and Poindexter ran that Iran scam. That's when the American people stopped trusting me. Oh, dear, this is terrible. Give the people time. They'll grow to love you again, Mr. Reagan. No, they won't. Not the way Congress is treating me. They'll never love Big Ronnie again. Ron? Ron, what are you doing? George, my VP, is that you? Yes, Mr. President. Now listen to me. You're strong. Yes. You're whole. Yes, yes, You're yes. complete. Yes. You're a winner. Yes. You mean you can fly, Mr. President? Get out! <laughs> See, even my vice president isn't behind me. But I wouldn't care about any of this if the American people supported me. Oh, God, Brennan, beautiful, Mr. President, yeah. Bobby. Yeah. It's a good? keeper. It's got legs. Really? We'll have it on TV tonight. Was there enough energy in the middle part? There? Oh, absolutely. You're yes. beautiful. You're the best. Really? And once the people see this, let me tell you, they'll be eating out of your hand again. Don't oh, worry I like about it. Oh, I could some refreshment. Come on, George. Let's go to DC Farms. Is my hair okay? Was that key light bright enough? Did it show off my second bilabial fold? You know, that's my best read. Tonight, nearly live from Washington, D.C., Sid and Marty Croft present D.C. Follies. Starring Fred Willard, owner of the hottest club in Washington, D.C. And very special guest star, Vanity. The magic of the Croft Puppets. Fred, I'm getting pressure to make the news more entertaining. Ah, those darn ratings. Now, I'm willing to make a few concessions, but under no circumstances will I sacrifice my integrity. Well, that's what we love about you, Mr. Rather. Now, tonight's newscast is with the new format. Give me your opinion, okay? Can't wait to see it, sir. I'm Dan Rather. Dan Rather. I'm Dan. But Jessica do that. What would Madonna say? Oh, hi. Glad to see you could make it again. I'm Fred. This is my establishment, DC Follies, right down the street from the White House. Hey, Fred, check this out. Ah, oh, hi, Coach. John Madden. Come here, Fred. Come here. Come here. Did you ever see one of these doohickeys? What the heck is this, Coach? Well, this is a mechanical bow, Fred. Come on, just swing yourself into the side. No, no, I'm not much of a wrangler. All right. Then let's get Kate Hepburn on this thing. Oh, I don't think that's uh, really a very good idea. Where'd you get this thing? Oh, my barber. Yeah, he used it for kids, but, well, then he went bankrupt. And I got it for a song. Yeah, this would be a rough seat for a razor cut. <laughs> yeah, well, that's why he went bankrupt, I guess. Yeah. Well, anyway, I thought it would go great right in here. Oh, sure, sure. Thanks a lot, Coach. Bye. Mechanical bull. Say, Dan. Yes, Andy. Remember the hearings about Farm Aid? Yes, I sure do. And how they called Jessica Lang, Sally Field, and Sissy Spacek to testify because they starred in farm movies? Yes, I did notice that. Not bad, Dan. Well, now the Senate is conducting hearings about safety on shuttle flights. And just look who's testifying. What? Dolly Parton, Cher, and Barbara Streisand, what do they have to do with the space shuttle? Well, they've all sung the song, Fly Me to the Moon. <laughs> Say, you know, they might be good for your new format. I should think not. I don't mind a little light news, but that would be an attack on my integrity. Oh, sorry. Well, Richard, it's your turn to read a question. When is, it, when is it my turn? Now listen, Ronzo, to be perfectly honest, you're not welcome in this game. Yes, Ronald, you're making us uncomfortable. You are still the president, and we are all ex-presidents. Wow, that's right. Say, guys, uh, I was just reading this letter in Dear Abby. Uh, good to see you're reading the hard news, Freddy. <laughs> well, nevertheless, Mr. Nixon, I think it might be worth a listen. My husband and I have always had a rich love life. But ever since he left his job, I have lost interest. Signed, an ex-president's wife. Oh. Uh, now, I could be wrong, but it sounds to me like that must be one of your wives. Well, it can't be Nancy, because I'm still the president. Keep rubbing it in, fella, and we'll be stepping outside. Oh, uh, <laughs> actually, I have a confession to make. My Rosalind sent that letter. 
Well, it's nothing to be ashamed of. It could happen to any of us. Speak for yourself, Freddy. You know, my pat is one happy woman, come rain or come shine. I'm just a romantic kind of guy. Oh, we were so close, Rosalind and me. But after I was out of office, uh, I don't know. I guess I've been kind of moody. Uh, look, I don't think uh, it's helpful to Mr. Carter that we're not admitting that we're human, too. Well, I'm not going to admit that. Well... I want to be honest, so I want to say that there have been... Yes? Um, uh, what do you say, guys? Uh, want, to, want to go ride that bull? Yeah, yeah, good idea. I love that men stuff. Me too. You know, for my entire presidency, I've done all my own stunts. Really? <laughs> I don't blame them. Look, Mr. Carter, I know someone who might be able to help out. Let me make a phone call. Thanks, Fred. <sighs> Let's see if I have this straight. First, George Steinbrenner hired Billy Martin. Then he fired him. Then he rehired him and re-fired him. And re-rehired him and re-re-fired him. Then re-re-rehired him and re-re-re-fired him. Well, boys... What do you say we teach this Bronco a lesson? Good idea, Ron. If I don't work off a little testosterone, I'm going to explode. Oh, that bull looks pretty mean, guys. Ah, oh, the meter the better. No two-bit hunk of motorized plumbing is going to scare this old swabby. You go first, Chair. Yeah, but, 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 but. Are you a chicken or a real man? Uh. <laughs> You know, the last thing you want to do is go broke playing the stock market. But the guy who gives you advice to keep you from going broke is called a broker. Now, shouldn't he be called a richer? I'd feel a lot better about that, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. hey. I knew he'd get right up on that thing. He's so stupid. Yeah, yeah you know, <laughs> that's what it feels like when I go up to the hill to visit Congress. <laughs> I've got to put a provision in Star Wars for mechanical bulls. Mr. Ford, are you all right? Well, Fred, I think I may have a concussion. Uh, a concussion? Well, then that means he's fine. Just relax and we'll have you out of there in no time. Yeah. Well, I don't know, Fred. Maybe you should leave him in there. Uh, you'll have a big hole in the wall. Rats could climb in. You might have a point there. I, uh, uh, I'll go call a repairman. All right. Wait, don't go. I... Ooh, he hit me in the head. Ooh. You know, I'm a big fan, Cher. I think you're a terrific actress. Oh, thank you, honey. Kind of a Meryl Streep with feathers. Now, <laughs> Freddy, uh, be a friend and introduce me to the lady. All right, Mr. Nixon, this is Cher. Hi. And hi to you, sweet lady. You know, I just heard about your breakup with Sonny, and I want to say how sorry I am. Well, I... in time, you'll get over it. And now that you're single, I could use a little favor. Or you name it, Cherub Cheeks. You see that fellow over there? Yes. Well, I heard you show business types are, uh, you know, very loose and, uh, you know, wild parties, kissing in public, that sort Mr. of thing. Mr. Nixon, right? you're not about to do what I think you are, are you? Freddy, stop being such an innocent. Uh, now, where was I, Cher? Wild showbiz types. Oh, yeah, right. Well, my little buddy over there has, uh, you know, lost a little confidence. So if you take care of him... I'll take care of you. Mr. Nixon. What's the matter, Freddy? Didn't your mother ever tell you about the birds and the broads? That's the point. <laughs> oh, what a weird dude. Now, look, she's going. Cher. Now, now you haven't said something to spook her. Dan, why must the press always distort what people say? I suggest you do something about that. I've got the lead for this evening's news. Kissinger threatens freedom of speech and physically assaults leading broadcast journalists. <laughs> hey, Fred, look over there. Jimmy leads the flock and Tammy rides the herd. <laughs> Everybody, let's all get some old time religion with Jesse and the girls. Lord, 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 we can 
cannot afford another president like the ones we had. Lord, 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 we need our faith restored, and this self-righteous duty can make us glad. Starving people, and feed the starving people, feed the starving people to feed his own ego. Lord, ain't I pretty? Lord, ain't I handsome? Lord, ain't what a speaker, Lord, I love it. Importance may have soared, but I'm gonna turn the country some different ways. The people won't get bored, cause I'll make my cabinet on non white gays. I'll heal, 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 bigotry I will repeal, and kick the fat cats off their perch. I'll heal, heal, heal with self righteousness and zeal. You can worship me in my new church. Hey, Fred, it's time for the evening news, you know, Rather's new format. Thanks for reminding us. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, Heads up, everyone! Uh, uh, hey! I'm all right. I'm all right, I tell you. Here, I landed on my head. A bull is going to bankrupt me. It's the all-new Evening Tone News with the Prince of News, Dan Rapp. And now, here's Danny. Hey, we've got a great newscast lined up for you tonight. But first, greet my very special guests, Dolly Parton, <laughs> Barbara Streisand, <laughs> and Cher. <laughs> now, welcome, ladies. We all know you're in town for the congressional hearings on the space program. Oh, that's right, sweetie. Now, you had some trouble there, Barbara, at the hearings... Uh, didn't you deck a congressional page? He bumped into me. You know, if it were a guy who decked him like, um, um, Francis Ford Coppola or something, everybody would say, oh, okay, you know, he's a man. But if I deck someone, it's like, oh, she's so aggressive. Uh -huh. So true, so true. You girls have brought a film clip with you, haven't you? Oh, you bet, Danny, baby. We didn't come on for what you pay. Woo! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, uh, roll the clip and watch the monitors in the studio. Okay, babe. Welcome, Miss Parton, Miss uh, Streisand, and Miss Cher. I want to thank you for uh, coming to testify at the hearings. Oh, don't sweat it, Ted. We're jazz, man. No, no, um, we're happy. Is the camera on me? Hey, can I get a close up? Okay. Listen, uh, we all know how important the space shuttle is. Well, maybe not as important as getting a cab in the rain, if you know what I mean. <laughs> between my two front teeth and I said to my mama that the kids are laughing at my teeth and she fashioned braces from the barbed wire around the pig stack. Put a cork on it, will you, honey? Excuse me, who has the international rights to this? I mean, can you show this abroad without paying me? I think we should recess for lunch. Lunch? Do I get into my trailer? I do have a trailer, don't I? <laughs> yeah, when I was a kid, for all I knew, a trailer was what a cow left behind while walking. Order, order, order. Oh, I want to order lunch. Is serious much. or what, man? I'll have a chicken salad on my... Yeah. Look at <laughs> We're back. Now we have a big surprise for Barbara. Oh. The congressional page she decked, and also Judge Wapner will decide the case. Oh, They're God. both here, so come on out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's a pro. Hi, baby. Oh. Vanity, I told you never to call on me here. I know, I just couldn't help myself. What we had was over a long time ago. It'll never be over for you, Fred. You're probably right, but I'm weak. Don't expect any other man to fall the way I did. Don't be so sure. I can make any man turn into a quivering ball of jello. Oh, not in here. Now, 
DC Follies is the hangout for the most distinguished men in the country. Oh, Fred. Ah, yes, Mr. Kissinger. I'll have another glass of... Oh, oh, look at the nice. It's her. I'm uh, thinking it's a nice. She a makes glass me. of brandy, Mr. Kissinger? <laughs> well, uh, aren't you going to introduce me to your... Lady, beautiful woman, friend. She's a nice. She has Here, good... doctor, here. She's Sip good. on this, and why don't you sit at that table? Right over there, sir. Uh -huh. Go, go. Oh, yes. with a nice yes. flavor with the grill. Uh, yeah. I like it when the lady... That one's on the house, doctor. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. <laughs> the most dignified. All right, don't be so taken with yourself. Dr. K has not been himself lately. Oh, Freddy. <laughs> what? What do you say, Freddy? Mr. Nixon. Hiya, toots. Want to see my backflip? Uh, no, Mr. Nixon, please don't. No, 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 <laughs> oh, oh. Ta -da. Thank you, thank you. And you are? Vanity, sir. And I think there's a phone call for you right over there. Oh, uh... Right you are, Freddy. Stick around, young lady. I'll show you my bobbin' noggin' trick. You will not. Well, Fred, what did I tell you? Now, wait a second, Vandy. Richard Nixon is not representative of any other man in this whole millennium. And it is not true that you cause people to make fools of themselves. Hey, hey Fred. Hey, Fred. <laughs> Boy, look at that. Hubba, hubba. Will you guys get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> I told you so, Freddy. I do it to all the guys. Oh, well. All except one. I never did get to you now, did I? I'm gonna pour myself a good drink. If I can get that thing in that place. Last year, we sold arms to our enemy, Iran, that they used to fight Iraq, the country we are really for. But we don't sell weapons to Iraq, the country we're really for. We sell weapons to Iran, who blows up tankers with our flag on them. I mean, isn't that like trying to keep crows away from a corn crop by building a scarecrow out of corn? I don't even know what I mean. You know what I mean? Uh, no, it never happened to me. Watch your back, Jimmy! Wow, I'll never try to milk that bull again, dude. Sure, kid, now get out of here. Okay, dude. Now, come on, Jimmy. So what if you don't have it anymore? It's not the end of the world. Uh, Might as well be, but, but it's not. Ah, uh, uh, Mr. Carter, I hate to see you like this. Uh, you know, sir, uh, power isn't the only thing that makes a woman feel romantic. Have you ever considered treating Rosalind like a, like a date? Well, what do you mean, Fred? Well, you know, bring her flowers, maybe take her to a drive-in movie, maybe, maybe a nice moonlight walk. Well, we did have fun when we were dating. Well, why don't you give it a try? Hey, you know, I think I will. Yeah, I'll give her a call right now. Excuse me. Nice try, Freddy, but I think you're dealing with a dead battery here. Uh, Hi, Phyllis. Hello, sir. What's going on? Oh, well, Mr. Carter just went to ask Rosalind for a date. Rosalind for a date? What year is this? Uh, 1987. Oh, it's to help with their uh, problems, you know. Oh, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought I had a role in a Twilight Zone episode. Oh, no, no, no. How'd it go, sir? Oh, better than a fish fry on a cool June night, Freddy. Mm. Rosalind was giggling like a schoolgirl. Oh, oh, that's oh. terrific. And I'll be picking her up at 8. So, uh, thanks, Fred. Well, I, for one, think it's silly. I don't think that can help a couple. Well, maybe, maybe not. But she does want to take a walk in the moonlight. <laughs> See, it makes no difference to you, Mr. Nix. I mean, you don't have a problem. Well, of course not, Freddy. Of course not. Uh, Trimmy, uh, wait up. Uh, we'll double. <laughs> well, well, happy ending. I love happy endings. Yes, all my movies had them. Is that right? Like the one I've been... Working on for the past seven years has had one too. So far, but wait till I leave. We, we all hope so. <laughs> yeah, but I'll yeah. be out of it soon. <laughs> yeah, but we're all hoping there's no sequel. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking, sir. Well, look, sir, uh, it's getting late and I have to close up. I'd leave you here to watch out for the bar, but there's a lot of responsibility. I, oh, I wouldn't want that. No, no, no. I'll come with you, babe. Okay, come on, we'll lock up. Oh, an aphid. I'll have to get that. Ah, Fred will appreciate this. Come on, you. There we go. 
So Jack Warner fired all the extras and sent them all home. It was the funniest thing I ever saw. I heard stories about that. Yes. <laughs> he was quite a taskmaster, wasn't he? Well, you know, the thing about him was... Oh, uh, the... <clears throat> Hi there, guys. Uh, say, do you think you could bring me a sandwich? <laughs> oh, gee, sorry, Mr. Ford. We're closed for the evening. We'll see you in the morning, buddy. So anyway, Jack Warner okay. comes back. And I didn't realize that Hi. in order to pay the extras to pay the Oh, now I know how an elk head feels. <laughs> hey, taxi! Oh, gee. Wish I had some Thousand Island. Oh, 99 bottles of beer on the wall, 99 bottles of beer. Take one down, pass it around, 90, 90, 99 bottles of beer on the wall, 99 bottles of beer. Take one down, pass it around. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. Everything was going terrific until Ollie North and Poindexter ran that Iran scam. That's when the American people stopped trusting me. Oh, dear, this is terrible. Give the people time. They'll grow to love you again, Mr. Reagan. No, they won't. Not the way Congress is treating me. They'll never love Big Ronnie again. Ron? Ron, what are you doing? George, my VP, is that you? Yes, Mr. President. Now listen to me. You're strong. Yes. You're whole. Yes, yes. You're complete. Yes. You're a winner. Yes. You mean, you can fly, Mr. President. Get out! <laughs> Mr. President, don't listen to him! See, even my vice president isn't behind me. But I wouldn't care about any of this if the American people supported me. Oh, God, Brennan, beautiful, Mr. President, yeah. Bubby. Yeah. It's a good? keeper, it's got legs. Really? We'll have it on TV tonight. Was there enough energy in the middle part there? Oh, absolutely. You're yes. beautiful. You're the best. Really? And once the people see this, let me tell you, they'll be eating out of your hand again. Don't oh, worry well, about that. I could some refreshment. Come on, George. Let's go to DC Fox. Is my hair okay? Was that key light bright enough? Did it show off my second bilateral fold? You know, that's my best win. Tonight, nearly live from Washington, D.C., Sid and Marty Croft present D.C. Follies. Starring Brett Miller, owner of the hottest club in Washington, D.C. And very special guest star, Vanity. And the magic of the Croft Puppets. Fred, I'm getting pressure to make the news more entertaining. Ah, those darn ratings. Now, I'm willing to make a few concessions, but under no circumstances will I sacrifice my integrity. Well, that's what we love about you, Mr. Rather. Now, tonight's newscast...